Hello, Veteran 0 and 2 in here, welcome back, and this is another episode of Tales of Symphonia. Let's go inside the schoolhouse here. He was? Oh, interesting. Yeah, man, he's like Doogie Hauser. he's really smart. Multiplication table? Yeah, I mean, that's fucking, that's a pretty low example there, Lloyd. Yeah, definitely high for Lloyd, but not for Genus. <laughs> Hell yeah, we're gonna accept the challenge. And yeah, this thing right here full of balls is actually the Wonder Chef. And yeah, I found this by accident my first time playing. She's gonna teach us how to make nasty eggs, huh? Okay, omelets are nasty. I, omelets are good if they're made right. I've had some bad ones though. See you later, buddy. I don't know, for some reason that guy reminds me of Kino from Final Fantasy IX. <laughs> it's probably the fork. The big ass fork that he has. So there is, yeah, there's basically nothing in here. What is this? Today's recommendation, today is just no good. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Well, it's good that, uh, people here like to help each other out, I guess. You know, can't complain about that. Okay, this next part here, we're gonna need to, uh... Well, I gotta use a pen and paper, because I'm probably gonna fuck this up if I don't... But yeah, there's a little mini-game that we can play right now. So, there, this guy's gonna ask Colette if she wants to be a waitress. Sure. Do I need an explanation? No. No, we're just gonna start playing. GF BBQ combo, two apiece. Okay. GF. Wait, I don't want I don't need to write this down. Okay, so BBQ combo we need two. And grilled fish, was it right? We need two. Now we just gotta remember uh, which one of those characters wanted this stuff. So right now I'm gonna take a pause break and start writing down the abbreviations I'm gonna use for these ingredients because I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need to write it down. I mean, a real waitress would write this shit down. But the game expects you to just remember what the, what the fucking people want and all that shit, and it's like impossible without writing it down, so... At least it is to me. Oh, and you wanna know another bullshit thing about this minigame? Usually, uh, when somebody orders something, they're sitting down. So that's another thing that's fucked up, because, you know, they take your order, and then they rush off to their table. And you gotta remember where the hell they're sitting. And they always rush off to the table that's farthest away from what they were originally standing by, so it's like, fuck. 
How the hell am I supposed to remember this? But anyways, yeah, we want to come over here and we want to give this girly her BBQ thing. And yeah, if that's what she wanted, then you'll see those colorful, whatever the hell, musical emotes. Alright, grilled fish. Done, no problem. Okay, so at this point, I gotta get ready to start writing some crap down. 3 EB, 2, okay, so 5 EB and 2 Kiri. Alright, so at this point, I need to check my footage, because while I was writing that down, these idiots decided to go sit at weird spots, and I don't remember who ordered what. And that's kind of like the whole point of this minigame, is you're supposed to remember uh, what customer uh, ordered what, and if you get it wrong, then they get pissed off at you, and you can actually fail this, so I don't want to do that. Alright, so let's do this. I need to get five eel bowls, right? And yeah, if you're writing this down, I recommend just, you don't have to, I, I wouldn't write down, like, the whole thing out. I would just initial them, like, eel bowl, EB, and then just write the quantity down next to them. And that, that way you can at least keep track of the quantity. That's, like, the big thing here. And I believe the blonde over there is the one that wants three EBs. And yeah, this girl with glasses, she wants the other two. And last but not least. Okay, done no problem. Hold on a minute. EB, BBQ combo, yum yum, eel bowl. Wow, I don't think I'm going to be able to get all this. Yeah, at this point, it gets ridiculous hard. I mean, you're taking four orders at one time. Can you honestly expect a waitress to fucking take four orders at one time? That's bullshit. But luckily, I'm recording the footage, so I can just keep looking at it over and over again and cheat a little bit, because that's I, I wouldn't be able to do it without cheating. Uh, I have an order. So yeah, we need three BBQ combos. And we need four EBs, or eel bowls. And we need three yum teas. Or is it yum? Alright, so this guy wanted uh, one eel bowl, right? And then this girl over here wanted the other three. Okay, and I want to say that this girl over here wanted the yum tea or yum tea or whatever it is. Yep. And last but not least, there we go. And after doing that, he's going to give us our share of the cash. We get 450 gold. All right, thanks. But most importantly, we get the Turbo Waitress title for Colette. This is going to be a little bit better than Klutz. Yeah, because her defense and intelligence, well, her defense is definitely lower, so that, that might be nice to raise. So, yeah, I'll go with that. Alright, now I'm going to go save my game. Okay, and if I go and try and save my game, Genius is going to say that we can't just run away now. We're not running away, we're just, you know, going to study, I guess. You know, whatever. Come on, man. So I can't save my game, so I gotta do this next part without saving. Great. So, let's go in this first room here. 
And apparently we're all going to study. It's not going to be just genus. It's everybody. Even Kratos. Imaginary numbers. Oh, no. I remember those from algebra. And calculus. What did Lloyd learn from Kratos in the Tree at Runes? Uh, he learned Guardian. Definitely didn't learn Sword Rain. On the Osa Trail, what did the value of 9.8 that Gina substituted refer to? Uh, I believe that was the acceleration due to gravity. I hope that was right. Or maybe that was the gravitation constant. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Where was Lloyd born? Uh, I don't know. And I don't think it matters how you answer those questions. I think Genus gets this title regardless. Uh, what we're about to do, so whatever. Yeah, if we weave and come back in, I think we can talk to some people. Yeah, wow, just like that, there's a whole bunch of people in here. Who are you people? Yes, I'm having difficulty controlling the volume of my voice! Please go away, you're bothering me. You're a loser. Alright. So let's see what happens. Uh, and apparently the uh, the score, yeah, the score for some reason that Genius gets directly correlates to the answers that Lloyd gives on the test that he had. Which, I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. Lloyd's like all flustered, man. I hate this test stuff. 25? 25%? Wow, that's actually pretty high for you there, Lloyd. Yeah, 25 out of 100. He actually got, you know, a quarter of that shit right. It's amazing. 210? Two, two, wow. 400. Wow. So that's like an all-time low for Lloyd then. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, look at that. Genius got 400. He is a genius. Genus the genius. I must have gotten all those questions right. Genus gets the title of Honor Roll. This is good for him. Oh, uh, yeah, because that'll increase his intelligence. I don't really care about his accuracy, I guess, but yeah, it'll, it'll increase his intelligence, which uh, is good. It's good for him. Seeing as he's a spell user, and that's all he does. So there you go. Now I believe, yeah, I believe I've done pretty much everything we can do in Palma Costa for now. So now it's time to, how much gold do I have? Ugh, almost enough for a fucking 
uh, wind robe. Almost. I could probably sell an apple gel or two to get what I need. Or I could just go outside and fight one battle. But nah, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, yeah, I have a couple of these. Those are easy enough to get. Oh, wait. Wait a minute here. I was thinking Genus could use a feather robe. I guess that's rain only. Damn. Well, that kind of stinks. I sold that crap for nothing. Oh well. It's, like I said, it's not like it's hard to come by apple gels in this game. Well, that's it. That's everything we can do at Palma Costa for the time being. So now it is time to explore the world again, but I'm going to save that for the next episode. This is Veteran 0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.